Happy Halloween YouTube! It's Chase from Burnout Inc. and I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the new Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Ezio Auditore Roleplay Gauntlets. Uh, absolutely perfect and essential if you're going to be dressing up like Ezio for Halloween. And you know what? Just to have. You're going to take it shopping, you know, could get some nasty customers out of your way or, you know, get the line moving at the post office. Or, you know, just poke your kid a couple of times, say, hey, stop screaming in the middle of the store. Um, Assassin's Creed, definitely one of my favorite uh, video game series, so super stoked to get this. But let's take a quick look at the box. It's got pretty much a full hand right there, just showing off the gauntlet. Shows how it's going to look from the side. It says it features a spring-loaded little blade right there. And then the back of it, let's just get a few pictures showing off how it looks underneath and how you're going to shoot the gauntlet. It features highly detailed replica of Ezio Auditore's armored van brace, spring-loaded action, three adjustable straps, locking safety mechanism. Well, that's good to know. And more stuff from NECA down here. It'd be kind of nice to see if they're going to release other versions of this gauntlet. It'd be kind of cool to see one for uh, Connor in Assassin's Creed 3. But enough of that. Let's get this guy out and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the actual wrist blade part. Velcroed onto my wrist. Straps right here are Velcro. It does go like this way, not this way, for anybody who knows. Um, it's got some flexy rubbery rubber, ah, rubbery type deal here so it can fit around to just about anybody's wrist and then you got the spring loaded device right here which at the top of it right behind here which I will show off later in the video there's a locking mechanism that you can slide that way when you press the button it won't go so you can you can literally hit this thing really hard and it won't go. And then just switch that over and bam. There you go. Uh, the top of it up here on the blade is actually a soft rubber. That way you can't actually stab somebody with it. But as we all know, we like to customize our stuff. So we will probably switch this out with a real blade, you know. Just in case someone decides to mug me on the street, just be like, what? Sorry, you want my wallet? Oh, well, I keep it up here in my wrist. Wah! And yeah, I'm actually really surprised at how fast this comes out. Check this out. It's pretty awesome. And like I said, it looks just like the video game with all the different markings and stuff like that. I definitely like the spring-loaded button. At least I don't have to cut my finger off to use it. So that's, that's another nice feature about it, is that you can wear it just like this. You don't have to have the actual wrist gauntlet van brace part of it. It's its own separate deal right here with its own strap. And it will just slide over the top like so. All right. There we go, there's, there's the gauntlet, there's the wrist blade. Is this thing worth $40? Absolutely, freaking lootly man. Look at this, this is totally awesome. Definitely worth the money. In fact, I might go back and pick up another one of these, just so I can dual wield. The detail on the gauntlet is really, really good. There's a solid silver paint job to it with a black wash over it to let the details pop out. And the thing I like about it too is that the wash isn't perfect. It looks, or actually I should say it looks more kind of battle damage in some areas. Like there's some scuff marks and stuff like that. It's very, very good, very good detail. And it's a flex, and it's definitely flexible. It's not really cumbersome or anything like that. I did find it a little bit difficult to get this tighter, but I was kind of hurrying for the video. Let's 
So yeah, this would kind of make it harder to conceal it with the van brace on. So let's take that off. And yeah, this thing is completely concealed, except for just a small area right there. Which, oops, didn't really poke through there really well. So yeah, you know, you're walking around downtown. That stopped somebody pretty quickly. All right. So, this was Chase from Burnout Inc. I would definitely recommend you pick this guy up. It was only $40 at GameStop. Um, I think it's going to be an exclusive to their store. I haven't heard of whether or not Hastings or any other place is going to be carrying this guy. So, yeah, I'd say definitely pick it up there if you can. And I highly, highly recommend it. It's a very, very cool prop and cosplay accessory. All right, so we will see you guys uh, next time.